Hey, Will. Hello, Chris. How are you today? I'm doing very fine. Thank you. Are you in Great Britain? I am in Great Britain, in Oxfordshire, how precisely. Did... Ah, how did I know? I knew from your accent. I think we're going to do a selfie first. Let's go ahead and pose. Three, two, one. Thank you so much. Thank you. Cool. Okay. So tell, so you, wh tell me again where? Uh, Oxfordshire in England. Oxfordshire. Okay. All right. I, I pretty much know where you are. And what, what do you do there? I work in customer service in uh, supermarkets. Ah, ah. And what is the letter A on your sh your sweater? I, I actually don't know. Sorry, it's. Um, <laughs> I don't know where it came from. <laughs> it just happens to be a sweater that you own that has the letter A on it. Well, yeah, you know, I have to wear something. So right, but, right. Um, I, I was going to ask. All right, yeah, here. sure. I I heard about um. I, only at the start of this year, I've been getting into the Fright Night trend. And uh, I'm grateful I went for it because it was fun to watch the original and the remake. Uh huh. Um, apart from Colin Farrell, who were you most impressed with in the remake? I think maybe a combination of really of uh, Tony Collette. Yeah who was uh, very present, and she's such a lovely woman, uh, and uh, Imogen. Oh, Imogen, Imogen yeah. Amy. Poots, yeah. Uh, the two of them, and of course, Anton. Oh, yes. Who's no longer with us, sadly. Um, and I, I must, I, I have to, despite the fact that you exclude Colin from your question, Colin was lovely. He really was so great, and was such a fan of the original and in a lot of ways was very nervous about doing the movie because he was, he said he and his sister watched that movie like 50 or 60 times when they were younger. Um, and uh, he was, he couldn't have been nicer and, and more friendly and more open with me. Uh, um, I was going to ask uh, about the princess bride where you yeah. also, um, if you could be on a desert Island with just one celebrity from the princess bride, who would you go with? I would have to say it would be my friend, Carrie Elvis. Oh, yes. Yeah, sure. yeah because I've gotten it's interesting because I, I'm I know all of these people very well, uh, including, of course, Rob Reiner and uh, uh, Chris Guest. We all you know, we spend a lot of time together uh, on the set in in uh, I'm sorry, on the location in Sheffield. Oh, Okay. That's where we were working out of all the exteriors and all the a lot of the sets were there. And then we were in London for another six or eight weeks. Um, but it would be Kerry because he and I become much closer after since the movie was made. Uh, did you ever get to meet Mel Smith at all in that? No, I didn't. I never got to work with Mel. Uh, sadly, even though we were both uh, residents of the Pit of Despair. Uh, I'd never got to work with him. I see. He's no longer among us either, I'm afraid. No. Oh, yeah, I heard that. Uh, the reason I looked into Fright Night was because I wanted to pay tribute to Yelchin, basically. Um, yes. When I learned it was a remake, I thought, well, I've got to watch the original as well. So. Yeah, yeah. Oh, the, well, how do you feel about the original as opposed to the what they call the reimagining rather than a remake? Yeah. Well, it's difficult because I feel like if I say one, I'm letting the other one down. You know what I mean? <laughs> I, but, I know the, what you mean. Yeah. But you're in both of them, so it's a win-win, I guess. Oh, well, thank you. That's very kind of you. Um, do you think Roddy McDowell would have liked David Tennant's take on uh, Peter Vincent? You know, I don't know. I do know that I, I have a feeling that Roddy probably knew of David's work and was probably a fan of David's. So, and, and the fact also that Roddy was a very generous person. Uh, so my, 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 I'm conjecture here. I don't know for sure, but my guess would be yes. Uh, well, um, at the time of Roddy's death, David wasn't, um, he was famous a little, but not as much as he is now. Ah, uh, so. okay. We, we were he, hadn't of, been, he hadn't been Doctor Who. No, no, no. That was, that was long before. And yeah, um, yeah. Did you watch Doctor Who before David? No, was no, I didn't actually. I see. I was chatting to um, Ken Page recently, and he said mm. uh, performing Nightmare Before Christmas on stage. Are you involved with that at all? Sadly, no. 
okay. uh, because of the they're generally concert versions where the music is live and the voices that the speaking voices are are on screen uh, I, and I didn't sing any of the songs, so I'm not included. Well, what, uh, are you, sorry, what are you doing at the moment? Uh, at the moment, I'm creating a podcast, okay. uh, which I'm called calling uh, Cooking by Heart, which is essentially uh, conversations with uh, friends, some of them well-known, some of them not, about how they grew up around food. I was a restaurant kid when I was young. My father owned a restaurant, so... I spent a lot of time around food when I was younger, and I have a lot of memories associated with it. So this is a podcast about our memories of food when we're younger. Well, I hope it goes down smoothly for you. Thank you very, very much, Will. Thank you for making the time for this, and oh. um, I, uh, I wish you all the best. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Will. All the best to you in customer service. And by the way, happy yeah. Halloween. You too. Thank you. Bye -bye. All right, man. You take care. Bye-bye.